This one of the capacitors taking out this uh, uh, Technics SU3500. It's a uh, it's a bushy uh, 50 volt at 10,000 microfarad. Um, I'm sure the date code. There's no sort of number that gives it away. It's certainly not 1962. It'll be later than that. Um, but you can see for the f this is the first sign of a capacitor failing. It's that bulging on the end of the uh, capacitor end. Um, some of these don't have blow plugs, um, so if they go, they really do go with a bang. Um, it may have a blow plug point there, but um, I can't be sure of that, and a lot of these do actually explode. Um, there's the other one hanging on the uh, power supply there, the Roman power supply. Um, they seem to be absolutely fine. If you put them on the uh, LCR meter... Which is what I'll do now, bear with me. Okay, the LCR meter, I'm showing it's uh, 1200 microfarad. According to that, it's supposed to be 10,000 microfarad, but that would be intolerance. Um, and the ESR is, let's have a look, see what we get on the ESR. Very low ESR, 0 0.05 min ohm, so what, 50 milliohm? What you'd expect from a large value electrolytic, really. Um, Apart from the bulge, I mean, if you if you didn't have the bulge, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't worry about it, I don't think. But let me just show you something when you put the voltage into it. This um, this red band power supply is, has got constant current control, and what I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to apply the rate of 50 volts into it and just let it wind up to 50 volts. Now, if the current increases, the, the, it will go into constant current mode, and the amp light will come on. And so what I'm going to do is connect this capacitor up. And let you see what it does. Okay, there's an initial spark because it's pretty bit charged up still that capacitor. Now really when it gets to 50 volts that amp light should go out and it should, should show no current draw at all. I can actually see current draw on the meter at the moment actually. Look at the voltmeter. See it falling back. It's only got to 42 volts, 44 volts and it's already needs more current so let's give it a bit more current it's drawing a 200 milliamps trying to take it to 50 volts which is his rating and it's drawing half an amp I'm not going to go any further than that because I don't want this cat to explode in my face but that's a good sign that you know <laughs> look at these capacitors before you use them don't always assume that the capacitor meter will tell you if the capacitor's bad or not because this one's short of going it bang in your face um you know drawing half an amp at, at, <laughs> at 50 volts that's uh that's you know you're talking about quite a lot of power being dissipated in this capacitor so this capacitor's knackered um uh, just a word of warning really i was uh, just messing around with this capacitor and was about to throw them away and thinking well well maybe they're useful maybe i can use them for something but it doesn't look like it so Yes, just be careful with these electrolytics because when they explode they really do go.